So I guess it's time to pull these old gutters down. Get the holes rusted in them. It actually leaks since the day I bought the place. And there's a bird's nest under there. <laughs> They're full of leaves and stuff right now. Obviously they would be from all these trees overhanging the roof. You don't want that. But bad gutters or gutters that are full probably do more damage than no gutters at all. Because that water just overflows and gets the wood behind the uh, gutters wet. Makes your roof rot out, which you don't want. I'm going to also trim these trees back a bit. Because that's not helping things. And then we'll get up there and try not to fall. saws are awesome. I showed it in my last video. But I've been using it for all sorts of little trimming jobs around here. on somebody's head. Nests. This is three eighths. These are just wired and uh, screwed on. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, Man, that's a full gutter. Wow, that sure didn't take much. Wouldn't have been good to walk under that. your problem. That's a little JB weld wouldn't fix. You won't get cut by that. The worst scudders I've ever seen. Hear that? That's a squirrel making that noise. If you see Walnut, tell him he better get his butt home. His mother's kind of upset with him. I 
at the bird laughing at me. Before I even get into the woods, you get a stick. Walk with this right in front of your face. That way you don't eat spider webs. You probably can't see it, but there's a big spider right there. I'd love to get on your face. <laughs> Missed that one. that on me. Anyway, underneath this pile of tin is all the hardwood flooring that I got out of that old house that I'm going to be using to trim around the windows. So I was wondering where my tape measure went. I left it up here last week when I got the wood for the inside facing part of the windows. Let's pull first. Let's check for spiders. I would hate for to reach your hand up under there and grab one of those big guys. I got to pull out enough wood to uh, do the outside of those wood front or window frames. That's a nice piece. Not today. Jump on him. So man, that's a really nice piece of wood. It's got some planer snipe on it from when it was originally planed. If you don't know what that is, a planer has two, this one anyway, and most of them have two rollers, two rubber rollers that pull, powered ones that pull the wood through the planer. And then in between those rollers, it has the knife head. Well, once this board comes off of one of those rollers at the end, it can tilt up and uh, get into the planer head or to the knife head. A little deeper than it does everywhere else. So you can avoid it somewhat, but yeah, that's pretty bad right there, really.
So last week when I said that pulley wasn't going to last too long or run too long, uh, being damaged like it was, the pulley is horrible shape, right? Well, it didn't. It flew off. The belt flew off. Both pulleys flew off. The one on this one that runs off the motor and then the one that runs the blade. I've never seen... I've never seen... Uh, I look down here and there's two pulleys laying down here and I'm like, what? It didn't... didn't help that belt much. But I should have ordered two, right? Instead of just one. So I still haven't got the first one in yet, but you get the idea. Gonna have to fix that... Well, I'm doing exactly what I said I wouldn't do, and that's get try to get any bit fancy with these windows at all. I told myself that anyway. Now I'm making trim for the inside. I think it looks so much better though with that. that well, you can see I've got the trim on the bottom, but on the sides I don't know is that in the frame? Yeah. There's you know you just got a square edge there. This trim you know doubles as you know, a ledge to divert the water off the frame. This is the outside. You can see I've got big gaps all the way around. I'm going to fill those with silicone. I cut on the wrong side of the line on every piece that I made. I don't know why. I just did. But anyway, I'm doing what I said I wouldn't do, and that's making this take longer than it already is, or than it needs to. I'm making trim for the all the sides. Now I would have incorporated this trim, this angle, into the original trim that I put on here originally, but the boards weren't wide enough, so it has to be a separate piece. So for the last few years, we've been dealing with a pest called a chigger. A lot of you will know what they are, but they're a little bug similar to a tick. They attach to you almost exactly like a tick would, except for these things itch, in my opinion, several times worse than a mosquito and for days, sometimes even a week or so. If you walk in the woods around here, you better immediately go into inside strip down completely and check yourself for chiggers but the problem is that they're so small much smaller than a grain of sand that you may not even see them if you look directly at them but they attach to you just like a tick would uh, they're horrible uh, they, and they had a, what's a nice way to say this they tend to want to bite you in your softer areas uh, I know it's different all over the world, but if you have a similar pest, leave it in the comments. I'm curious. I want to know that I'm not alone, actually. Even the ticks around here for the last few years have been extremely bad. So this stuff here has been around for a very long time. And I just have to say, it's great stuff, especially... If you're sheeting a floor or something like that and you don't want it to squeak, stuff's great. Also, you know, instead of just a few screws holding this frame down, it's really like that's one piece now.
you doing, girl? So I picked this Bauer drill up. Some of you will remember about when this project started, and I've been using it off and on uh, throughout the whole thing. Um, I wanted to try to, you know, get an educated opinion on it. You know, instead of just buying it, using it once, and saying good or bad, I wanted to get some time on it. And I'd have to say it's it's pretty good, really. It comes with factory the indicator lights on the battery. Uh, where this non-XR version does not, although this is an XR battery, so it does have it. This one did not come with that. It also does not come with a hammer feature, the DeWalt, nor does it come with the hook. I like the hook. So, you know, instead of setting this stuff on the glass, you know, or anywhere really, you can hang it off to the side. Or if you're climbing a ladder, you can actually hang that on your pants pocket or something. So it, it is nice. It's every bit as smooth and works just as good, in my opinion. As, as this DeWalt. Haven't had any problems with it. It or the batteries. I mean, and the batteries are cheaper. So it's, you know, six half dozen, I guess. All depends. This is a nice drill. Haven't had any problems with it either. But this is not a bad drill either. So I'm almost done with my windows, finally. A coat of urethane, a couple coats of urethane on the frames, trim back the excess silicone that I have on here, and these are done. Now these will require maintenance every year or two, trim back the silicone, add a new uh, bead around it just to make sure that they don't leak, but they shouldn't. These are double sealed, and uh, I mean, they should last forever, as long as they're uh, cared for at all. Some maintenance, right? Um, I only used really high resin content wood on these, and I enjoyed the the woodworking part of this. You know, it took me a day and a half longer than what I had allotted for this, but you know, that's the way it goes. It's not going to get any easier uh, to work on these when they're hung on the wall, so I figured I'd finish them up. You know, well, that's the easiest it can be, right? I'm on the on the bench. So that's it, really. Uh, the other one's finished completely. I'm going to go ahead drill a hole in the roof and go ahead and pour the ends up, pour these full of concrete on the ends so I can anchor uh, the top of the oak on this opening because that's the only thing keeping me from framing this up now and that needs to get done and I'm not going to wait till the roof's off. I'm going to just drill a hole in it. doesn't matter. Roof leaks like crazy anyway so I can always patch it with some silicone I guess. So I need to set, wet set, three concrete anchors on each end of the building on the upper part here. I wasn't able to fill the sills completely full of concrete because there's a roof sitting on there. And I was going to wait till the roof was off, that way I had access to the top. I was going to drill a hole in it and pour concrete directly down through the holes into each cell. But I just decided against that and figured I would notch at least these with the saws all these ends so I can just move forward and get this thing framed up. Shouldn't take long. I'm gonna mix up a grout mix and uh, you know, try to squeeze it in there with a grout bag.
<clears throat> wow. Stupid thing. Let's see. So just like clockwork, Peanut the Squirrel showed up for her afternoon snack. We also seen Walnut. He stopped by after being gone for nine days. Poor little guy. Pretty rough shape. He got in some trouble. And I believe that's the reason why he had been gone so long. But we're keeping a close eye on him. I'll give you an update on him next week and uh, tell you a little more about it. But he's doing well. and We were really happy to see him. So luckily there was only three cells that needed filled up with mortar. This bag worked pretty well. Sometimes it would hang up a bit. It went pretty quick. In about a, you know, 10 minutes I had both ends of the shop full and uh, it was time to move on to setting the anchors. Oh come on. When I mixed up this grout mix, I mixed it relatively thin. All I'm using is a piece of copper wire here, reach down through here, kind of rod this stuff down. And it did, it definitely helped. And I had to add a little after, after I did it each time. So, that was it. Pretty simple, really. Straightforward. And I probably should have done this two weeks ago.
wiping off that extra cement that I got on the blocks here. So anchored at the transition between the block and the opening to the seal plate on both sides and anchored at the, both the top anchors on the oak that they'll be framed to. I still need to anchor to several spots along the block uh, to the seal plate on the uh, both sides. So I repaired this here, just cut that block of wood that came out of there, stuck it in and glued it. You'd never even see that repair unless you looked at it. Well guys, that's it this week. Got a lot done. Finished up the two doors that were, yeah, doors that are now windows. More windows, possibly. Lots of supplies have been gotten and a lot's gonna change in the next week, I hope. I'm ready to rock on this thing. I'm excited to get this building closed in. It's gonna feel nice. And it's onto the roof and the floor. So, that's it. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Thanks to my viewers, patrons, subscribers, anybody who supported me on this project. It's much appreciated. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.